In this tutorial we are going to design the vertical alignment of the 50 km road. In the previous tutorial we created the terrain profile and now to design the vertical alignment I will start by adding the tangents. So I will select the fixed line and in this case I want to specify the starting station and also the elevation and in this case it will be the the point right here, this is where I connect to the existing road so I will select the point by clicking on both the left and right mouse button at the same time and then left click to accept and also I can specify a gradient and in this case since I have a downward slope I will start by typing in minus and I want the first part to have a gradient of 25 per mil so it will be 0, 0,025 and afterwards select apply and in this case I can drag the cursor to the right and I can see from the bottom what is the length of the line and just left click to place the line and if I want to accept I need to left click and if I want to reject I need to right click. In this case I want to accept so I will left click and then I can continue I can either specify a new gradient, specify a new starting point or I can uncheck this and just hit apply and I will then snap to the end point of the first tangent and then I can draw the next gradient and from the bottom I can see what is the slope of the gradient so I need to make sure that it fulfills the minimum gradient of 5 per mil and it doesn't extend the maximum gradient of 50 per mil So in this case I have added the tangents and the next part is to add the curves to have the transition between the tangents. And the first curve will be a concave curve. So I will go up and select the add free curve. And when I have a concave curve in this case I need to type in minus and then I need to determine the radius and in this case I'll just add a radius of 2000 select the first element and then the second and if I want to accept I will left click or if I wanted to reject I had to right click if I want to get back and then specify a new radius for for this convex curve I need to right click and then I can specify a new radius and let's say in this case I will also just, just add a radius of 2000 but since this, since this is a convex curve I have removed the minus in front select apply, specify the first tangent and then the second and again if I want to accept I need to left click and if I want to edit the radius because this is a concave curve I need to right click to get this dialog box and I will just add a minus in front select apply specify the first radius and then the second and again if I want to accept I need to left click the next thing I will do is to make the vertical alignment the line style make it a bit thicker so it's easy to see what is the terrain level and what is the vertical alignment so in this case if I put the cursor on top of the vertical alignment I can see that the line is placed in the level called TXL and then the center line and afterwards we have L 
and where I have the arcs then it ends with a C so in this case if I go into level manager and scroll down to the layer so I have the first one right here then modify the thickness of the line do the same for the curves in this case it's easy to see what is the vertical alignment and also what is the terrain profile in the following tutorials I will show you how to add the annotations to the vertical alignment and also add some information about the level of the terrain and level of the proposed vertical alignment